All right, talk about this Raw show here, which uh, was pretty good. There was some good wrestling in this show. There's some shitty finishes, but you're going to get that with WWE. But in terms of of bell to bell action, there were some good matches on this show. And it opened up with Becky Lynch and Bianca Belair, and they got 20 minutes, and they had a very good match. And as noted, after a very good match, there was a lame finish, which was... Well, no, I mean, I, I, I thought the finish, I mean, you know, you could say lame finish, but for what they're doing in their storyline, it was it was the right finish because you... Um, you didn't want you didn't want the heel to win clean, but they didn't want to change the title. I mean, your other choice is a, is a DQ because they didn't want to beat Bianca clean. That would be foolish right now at this point. So, and they're trying unsuccessfully to make people boo Becky Lynch. I mean, it was kind of funny because they did a deal later in the show because Becky Lynch, when she won and she she held the tights, she cheated to win. And the whole place cheered. I mean, I looked, and people were standing up. I mean, they reacted totally. You know, they, it wasn't as they... Bianca got some booze, but it wasn't a lot. Becky might have gotten some, but they were all drowned out by cheers. I hardly heard any. When she won, there were no booze. And then at the end, um, because these sh- these interviews are scripted ahead of time, um, Becky Lynch does this promo. I mean, it's always funny when they refer to the crowd in their promo that's prescripted because they do not know what the crowd will do. And she's doing this whole promo about how 50% of the fans were booing me and they're so fickle and ungrateful and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, it would have been great if 50% of the fans were booing you, but they are all cheering you even when you cheated to win. So, you know, but the cheating to win was, it's it's part of the storyline. So, I mean, to me, if you're doing something that's like when you're just doing a cheap finish to get out, that's one thing. But when it's part of the storyline, to me, that's that's the right. I thought it was the right finish for the for the you know for that for that day and that show. Well, I mean, my problem with the finish is that this is the fourth time I believe that Becky has beaten Bianca in a championship match. So I don't even know what the story is. I mean, we've seen this match multiple times. Bianca can never win. It's like, are we going to just keep doing the match? What's yeah. what's the point here? Well, I, I'm sure at some point she's got to win. I don't know when, you know, but um, yeah, she better win. I mean, with the storyline going the way it is. I mean, they're pushing her. They're you know they're pushing it in that direction, but I don't think they're quick to take it off of. Becky Lynch. Well, they're definitely not quick to take it off of her, but I mean, everything you mentioned with the crowd is absolutely true. Like, the whole point of this, I thought, was this is designed to get Bianca over as a big babyface star. Yes. And what they have done is they have beaten her now four times. Becky beats her by throwing her to the buckle and pulling her tights. The fans pop huge for Becky beating her. And it's like, this is not helping Bianca Belair. I see well, zero tr- evidence that this is helping her in any way. Well, the, the problem is that Becky Lynch is more popular than Bianca Belair. It was well, she's beating it. her every time. I mean, she's pushed as a huge superstar. I mean... But but it's she's cheated to beat her, but the reality is is that the fans like Becky Lynch more than Bianca Belair. And so the, the idea is to switch the fans, and it has not worked because... They have decided that they like Becky Lynch more, whether she's being a heel or not, and whether she insults them. It's like she's, you know, the crowd. It, it's, it's, you know, I hate to compare it to the Austin thing because she's in Austin, but there is a similarity in the sense that, you know, when they tried to turn Austin, and then Austin did get some booze when they Dude, did forget it. forget Austin. This same exact thing happened with Becky. They What's already happening? tried this once. Oh yeah, a couple of years ago when yes, uh, that's when why the turned... whole, that's where the whole man thing even came from. They tried to turn her heel, and the fans were like, "We're not going to boo her." It was, well, it was a lot less successful the last time because the last the last time they were so totally, you know, into her. Now it's like it's muffled. You know what I mean? It's like it wasn't like, um, you know, she's like totally crazy over like she was a couple of years ago. Now, I mean. And she perhaps if they didn't turn her or try to turn her, maybe she would still she would be that way, like when she came back. But um, you know the turn the idea of turning her, uh, you know it's it's. I mean we we look when 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 they said they were going to do it, we all knew it was a bad idea. Here we are months later, 
and it was a bad idea. No, it's not helping Bianca Belair because she's fighting a more popular wrestler over and over and over again. They're booking in a way to turn her, except it's not working. So when you figure out it's not working, you probably should change directions. I don't know about pushing, you know. I mean, they're really committed to her as a heel because, like, you know, obviously the next opponent's Liv Morgan, and quite frankly, uh, I don't see Liv Morgan being cheered against her either. Um, and it probably won't help live. You know, it is one bad, one of the bad things. And this is, you know, Hogan, you know, Hogan did this in, in WCW when he was the cool heel. And, you know, it kills. There's nothing that kills baby faces more than going against a heel that's way more popular than them. And, um, so yeah, it's these baby face women that go against Becky Lynch. It's going to be very difficult for them to get over no matter how well, you know, Becky tries. It's just, it's a death sentence, you know, trying, you know, not a, well, I wouldn't call it a death. Death sentence is probably too strong. Um, but it's a crippling situation when you put a baby face against a heel who is, who the fans are going to cheer and you know they're going to cheer. And, uh, that's the situation that they got. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, wrestlingobserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.